All right, thanks, Justin. Well, the state sees axis deer as an invasive species, but a Big Island man says it's a matter of survival. Danny Rocha was one of three men investigated and sentenced in an axis deer smuggling case. Investigators say that the men helped introduce the destructive animal to the Big Island. KITV 4's Cam Tran talked with Rocha as he defended his actions. It's a trade that could have landed a Big Island man behind bars. Danny, did you realize when you did this it could be illegal or that you could get in trouble for it? No, not at all. Danny Rocha, along with Thomas Hopman and Jeffrey Gronhauser, were investigated for transporting access deer from Maui to the Big Island in exchange for MUFON sheep. We feel by bringing the deer, we just, we're just helping the cause that they're killing it. As part of a plea deal, Rocha pled guilty to raising sheep without a proper permit. The 65-year-old Mountain View man admitted to trading the sheep for access deer. He and his lawyer defend those actions, saying bringing the deer to the Big Island is a matter of living off the land. Why not have the animals that could sustain this state in the wild in case of that emergency instead of have nothing when that emergency starts? It's a very healthy meat to eat. It's a very healthy animal. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service disagrees. It says the deer is an invasive species that destroys pineapple and avocado crops and causes millions of dollars in damage. It's believed that they could cause up to $18 million annually in damage to agriculture and other industries if you use the numbers that we've got from Maui. So there's a significant concern that we'll have similar impacts to the Big Island. A federal judge sentenced Rocha to 100 hours of community service, along with a $1,000 fine for his service. Rocha says he is teaching Keiki how to use the land and natural resources to grow and prepare their own food. In the newsroom, Cam Tran, KITV4 News. Thanks so much, Cam.